All right, today we're going to buy how the Ming Dynasty begun. Number one, who was the Mongol chief in the early 1200s? Two, what tribes did he unite? Three, what things were realized on the leadership of the Mongols? Four, what was the name of the Mongol dynasty? Five, who were most of the government officials? Six, opinion. How did your answer number five make the Chinese feel? Seven, who was the first emperor of the Ming Dynasty? Eight, what city did Zhao Yongzang capture in 1368? And nine, what name did Zhao Yongzang choose for his dynasty? So how the Ming Dynasty begun. In the early 1200s, the Mongol chieftain Geng Genghis Khan's goal was to create a Mongol empire that stretched from the East China Sea to Eastern Europe. He united the Mongol tribes and took over China and other countries. For much of the 1200s and 1300s, peace and order reigned across Asia. Political stability, cultural exchange, and economic growth were realized under the leadership of the Mongols. Despite these benefits, most Chinese were not happy with the government under the Yuan or Mongol dynasty. Unlike previous dynasties, the Mongol leaders did not strive for Chinese unity. Most of the government officials were Mongols or even Europeans. The native Chinese were angered by this and wanted to dispose or overthrow the foreign rulers. Zhao Yang Zhang, Zhao Yuan Zhang, the founder and first emperor of the Ming Dynasty, became the leader of the rebel army and led them against the Mongols. He first succeeded in capturing the southern portion of the country. In 1363, Zhao's army won a decisive NATO battle at Lake uh, Poyang and gained an advantage in the northern provinces. By August of 1368, Zhao had captured a Yuan capital at Dadu, modern-day Beijing. Soon after, the Mongols were driven back beyond the Great Wall of China. At successfully taking control from the Mongols, Zhao founded a new dynasty in 1368, which he called Ming, meaning brilliant. All right, going to answer those nine questions if you would, please.